Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome back to Deodor Productions. Yes, chicken, I started speaking. Don't have to look so terrified about it. So, for once, you can actually see all three buns on bun cam, which is quite nice. Hey, Willow, see you. He's kind of splodged and chases asleep in his. Nope, he's not even moved. He looks so round from this angle. Looks like a ball of fluff. But anyway, we are today jumping into the magical world of Forza Horizon 4. Now, I have put a little bit of time into this game already. And unsurprisingly, I bought the Volvo. Yay. Hi, Pink! Um, yeah, so I bought the Volvo. It's, this is standard, as far as I can remember. Um, I have got another Volvo that is definitely not standard anymore. I did deal with that. Um, let's see if I can remember what some of the controls are, because it's been a while since I played. Um, that's not a player, that's a random car. Okay. So, I like the V60. It's very nice. And it's very rapid. Hi, Annalie! Um, I've also, I have got a few other cars. I can have something a little bit more fun, I suppose. Um, here, thing. Okay, Dave. I have plotted your route to a new race in the Horizon Cross. I don't know why, love. I didn't hit any button. Didn't hit any of the buttons. Okay, Anna. How about... This. No, <laughs> oh, bless. That's cute, pink. Or oh, that. That's a bit fun. But that. And there's a jump in the. Excuse me. <laughs> yes, big truck. It goes very quick in a straight line, and that's about it. <laughs> um. I want to drive, please. Um. Cool, so I need to go and find a close, closest race. Who needs a wall? Um, so yeah, like I said, I've jumped in and done... Yay. You get all the points for smashing things as well. Great. Oh, if, do you want me to drive the big truck? Okay, I will go and grab the big truck. Recalculating route. In 100 meters, turn right. Okay, Dave. No, wrong button. Again. Set your route to a Sorry. New in the Horizon Dirt Racing Series. Somehow I don't think I'm going to be able to take my big truck in the Horizon Dirt Racing Series. I do like this thing. It's good fun. But yeah, so I have a nice big truck, obviously. Uh -oh. Snow plow! My mistake. So, yeah, there's uh, plenty to do. Obviously, we get. Let me see if I can find the right button. Here we go. This is the Horizon World. I need to go and play with this in a minute. Um, but obviously, we've got Horizon Festival down here. This is the kind of area you start in. And then, as you get up, I haven't got the Fortune Island DLC. I haven't played the Eliminator yet. And then obviously, then you get up into Edinburgh. And it's all a bit of good fun. Um, I can go and do that at some point. So we might do that in a minute. There we got. That could be fun. That could be fun. 
Um, some of these I've done, obviously. I got a... What's that? Drift Zone. Um, Anna, unsurprisingly, that that's not in this game. It's not a thing. Is that one I've hit? Might have hit that one already. Um, so... Let's go over here and have a look at some of the Top Gear stuff. Okay, it would have been... <laughs> yeah, that, that would have been nice, but unsurprisingly, no. What is... I'm hitting the left bumper and nothing is happening. That is... Just quickly... Uh, where have they... I may not be able to get it because A, I'm in a big truck that doesn't fit. Oh, it does fit. Where is this thing? Is it, is it oh, is it on the roof? Um, how do I... Oh yeah, th that works great, game. So where is this board? I don't know where the board is. Cool. No board. Come on, truck. Grip. Grip, damn it. Hi, Jim. Um, so yeah, let's take a nice, gentle drive through the countryside. Um, obviously it is, I think, the, the point I got to in the series at the moment, obviously, is now descended into winter. So everything's a bit snowy and icy. What is... I'm hitting left bumper. Nothing is happening. Turn left. Do I have to be stopped? I'm hitting left bumper. What a game. But anyway. No, that's the wrong button. Uh, no, that's also the wrong button. I'd rather... Uh, ooh, okay. So I'm trying to see how... The, the, the slightly annoying thing is that this is set in Scotland and all of the cars, all the steering wheels are on the wrong side. Go now. In two hundred meters, turn left. Turn left. <laughs> it's fun to smash things, Anna, and that's all I'm saying. And drive sideways. Driving sideways is fun. But definitely to quote um, the late great Colin McRae, if in doubt, flat out. Which is why sometimes I have massive, massive feck off accidents. Oh yeah, I forgot. This bit's really fun to drive. Uh, slow, 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 slow. And... Almost missed it. There we go. Turn around when it is safe. Whee! 100 meters. Turn right. Yes, I meant to park my truck here again. Well done. There we go. Um, started solo, obviously. No one else is about here. And we're swapping to a nice little summer section. So that's fun. Or spring. I can't tell. Um, there's quite a lot of roads to drive. Obviously, some of it may be in uh, the Fortune Island DLC, which obviously I do not have. Oh, that's not fun. Playing top game music. Really game. Tonight, 
The Stig drives some very fast farm equipment, yeah. I hail a taxi, and finishing with something that I'm reliably informed is a bit of a fan favorite around here. Lotus. Classic. Anywho. I'm Chris Harris, and this is the Top Gear Horizon Special. Ah, yes, the Stig, our very own UFO, unidentified fast yeah. object. The world's least obedient racing driver. Stay above 90 mile an hour. Right then, the Lotus Elise, a 90s classic based on the age-old Roadster recipe. Two seats, engine in the middle, rear-wheel drive. Not an ounce of fat. This is what driving Come is on, car, back up to speed. I won't. I don't think they spawn when you're not in a cutscene. Okay. Car. Oh, that was close. Hopefully, there's no more like tight corners. It's a Sport 190. A Whoa, Twitch, Twitch. Thank you. Track days. Even the passenger seat is an optional extra. Wow. Who needs friends anyway? Friends are expensive and heavy. Yes, good boy. All right, it's not the fastest way around a corner, but it's definitely the most entertaining. Way. Problems have occurred. Point eight liter engine, which revs to eight thousand RPM. Just listen to that. Listen to the scream. A serious slide there. Loving your work, Stiggy. Stiggy. Really. Stiggy. Yeah. Played a fair few of the Horizon games. Obviously, I've got my wheel, which I wasn't. Sure, whether I was gonna bother connecting it up, I decided not to in the end. But I am playing on a controller today, so we'll see how that goes compared to if I was on a wheel. Um, but yeah, so and of course, because it's a Lotus, it sticks to the famous philosophy of the man who founded the company, Colin Chapman. Simplify, then add lightness, he said. The Sport 190 also adds a full roll cage. Just in case. <laughs> Which, knowing my luck, if I go out and purchase this afterwards, at some point, I will put it on its roof. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice. It handles. It seems to stick to the road quite well. And um, we are 1.3 kilometers from our destination. <laughs> And naturally, as you do with every Forza game... Made it! Was there ever any doubt? The Series 1 Elise is, after all, one of the best handling cars ever made. The Sport 180 is its hardcore cousin. I did it. A road-going racer you can drive to work. And across fields, it turns out. But if it's true agricultural transport you're after, we have just... I missed the star, probably because I... twatted yes, the thing and had a slow moment. It. The honourable art of drifting. Yay, all of the monies. You have money so quickly and so easily in this game. Oh, I need footrest. But that's another story. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Fortune Island does look a lot great. Um, for those of you who do watch Fail Race, he did um, a rally thing. Let's go back into Top Gear. Um, they did a rally thing and people fell off a cliff and it was quite funny. Ooh, a BMW 1M. Great car. Hang on, that's my BMW 1M. Wow. With a Horizon plate? I don't think so. Seriously? Not Whoops. Funny. Who Sorry! The keys? Yeah, there's not a scratch. I'll just clip the wheel slightly. So yeah, we just gotta... Whoops. Sorry. I think I broke Chris Harris's car. Um, at least we don't have to worry about I mean, literally just damage. Now it's gonna smell of onions. Odor stick. Wow. Well, this isn't stressful to watch. Not at all. Turn right. It's a BMW, so of course it's rear wheel drive. 50-50 weight distribution too. It's a natural born drifter. It's a natural born, do natural born donator, as it turns out, as well, so that's fun. Hi. 
wall. Sorry! Yeah, maybe less drifting and more driving in a straight line this time. That's the last time we leave Stig unattended. Am I the only one who remembers Budapest? What happened in Budapest? I feel like I've missed a lot of new Top Gear. Seconds, my 1M. Stig's way beyond that now. <laughs> missed the it. Smoke. Please leave me some tread for the drive home, Stiggy. Seriously, come on. Um, whoever did the subtitles screwed that up and said hello, not come on. It's electronically restrained what? to 155 miles an hour, but it could definitely go quicker. <laughs> Freely to straight six, 335 horsepower, two turbos. Wait, what's the Avengers so reference? I haven't seen many of them. Meters. Turn left. Park here. Three and a half clicks. I have two minutes to do it. I might just about get there. Come on, car. Go faster in a straight line than you are. No, I'm pretty sure Stig did something stupid in Budapest. This is what Stig does. One of the best BMWs ever made this. Born to be driven by me. Got to admit though, Stig does kind of suit it. At the roundabout, take the second exit. M68, I've driven that. Sixty mile an hour. <laughs> M62 now. It does sound quite nice in the tunnel. Almost there now. Oh, what a shame. I was really getting into that. Just park it up now, Stig, and uh, mind the curbs. I may have slightly missed the destination. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Now, anyone else want to go? No? <laughs> Don't say I didn't ask. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna turn that around and now I can right. my feet on it. Back to the actual script now, if you don't mind. This is Top Gear's track tour. It's a tractor, obviously, but with a 5.7 litre Chevy V8 making 500 horsepower. And here comes the Stig again. Farm Stig. Uh, Born in a farm, they say. We by pigs. Can plough a field in under six seconds. Bunnies. Anyway, let's drive a track a speed tour. on the M68. Rumour has it it only flashes above 87.2 miles an hour. Our tractor has been officially clocked at 87.2 miles an hour, making it the world's fastest track. Well, considering I'm already doing a ton. Faster. Oh. Kind of underwhelming. Driving this compared to the Beamer. It's a bit more wobbly than the Beamer as well. Steady on, Stig. Those are 54 inch mud tires, remember? They get a bit squishy through the corners. Nobody needs to get the harvest in that quickly. Yeah, yeah, they might want to. You don't know. Bloody Range Rover, Land Rover. And 123, which is maxed out. You stupid bugger. Right, here comes the speed camera. Hope they put some film in it. Whoa! Have you ever seen anything like okay. it? Okay. That's a new tractor speed record and Yay. some impressively fast farming. If you want to spread slurry in a hurry, you know what you need. Now though. It's time to hail a ride in something completely different. What is the... 
Huh? Something tells me some people have been toying with this. Considering mine only went to 123 at the most. I don't know how people got it up to a th like a couple of thousand mile an hour. <laughs> Ooh, showcase event. That could be quite fun to do. And I got a pink hoodie. Might not be wearing that. Forget what I'm dressed like. Eh. Hey Dave. This winter showcase is going to be incredible. I need a driver I can rely on with a proven record. I'll get to it later, love. Mind the cold. What do you say? All I need you to do is catch a train into Edinburgh. Hmm. I sent shenanigans on that. I know. It's a surprise, isn't it, Anna? It's not that it ever happens or anything. <laughs> oh, what kind of inches are set to? I called a cab earlier. Oh God. Local company, Aisha's Taxis. Excellent service. Got me here in no time. Unsurprising, really. I mean, look at what turned up. Hands down. Look at the off-road tires on it. Which got me thinking: How fast could this thing actually go? Oh, look at the silly little Forza wing on the back of it. Asked if we could borrow her cab for a trip to the seaside. To Bamborough Beach, in fact, where we could stretch the taxi's legs a bit. Although, I might have forgotten to tell her who'd be driving. You've guessed it. The cabbie will always get you to your destination very early, but probably won't be anywhere near where you asked to go. Herr Stig. Surprised less than in one piece, to be honest. Holding a drift is a delicate balance of throttle, steering, and shouting. <laughs> shouting? Really? Not the people shouting, it's the car engine screaming. Now that's what I call a cab. No clattery diesel engine here. This has a V12 with over 750 Jesus. horsepower. Plus bucket seats. Beaded bucket seats, presumably. Everything got a bit snowy all of a sudden. A little bit sideways as well. From now on, I say all cabs should have wide bodies and flared arches. Think about it. More stability, more speed, more downforce, more room for your terrified passengers. Whoa, she snapped. She snapped on me. Going cross country. I don't think 750 horses was meant to be driven on snow. In 400 meters, turn right. It even has slick tires for maximum. No, it doesn't. On a bone dry drag strip, so they should be interesting when we hit the beach. Dude, they're clearly off-road tires. That was close. My bad. Sorry! Sorry, Minnie. The front end of the taxi might be a little bit crumpled. That is quite a tight little corner there. In 400 meters, turn left. Puddle! Excuse. Turn left. In 400 meters, turn right. Oh, look at all the little roads down on the beach that you're meant to be discovering at some point. Turn right. 
nearly slotted it through the gate. I mean, if you haven't worked it out by now, um, the red roads are off road, and the white bits are like tarmac. Good fun though. So here we how are, wide the rear tires, all of the tires are. Used smooth, sandy beaches like this to see how fast their cars could go. Many early land speed records were set on beaches. Miles of space, nothing to hit. Sounds easy, right? Sounds easy, yeah. Oh, look at that. Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's what happens with 750 horsepower on the well. sand. But that's it's the a bit challenge twitchy. Here. Go as fast as possible all the way to the top of the beach. The thing is, there's something I haven't told the stick. Uh oh. Is there a dirty girl jump at the far end of it? Hi, Annaling! Speed record rules say you must do two runs, one in each direction, before the clock runs out. Which means, Stiggy, pulling off the world's swiftest U-turn. Which, of course, is when the handbrake comes in handy. Okay, I may not get the gold. I may have slightly overshot. Just a little bit. Hi, YG. TCH. Um, I may have to restart this one. Like, I'm okay with silver or two stars but not getting all three that's slightly annoying a five star ride from the stick there mini cab maximum speed next time i need a ride to the oh wait i might have just got two stars and all of this off road action yeah i'll do me an idea uh oh That's quite fun to drive, actually, that taxi. So many little different bars to see and everything. Um. Well, we may, we're here. We may as, well, may as well continue doing Top Gear. Bum, 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 bum. I need to pull myself a bit better in a second. Ooh. This is Project EAT. That's EAT for E Class All Terrain. Oh. It's a modified Merc built by the Top Gear magazine team for finding <clears throat> bears in the woods. Not many bears around here, though. Mostly badgers. Still, there's definitely some terrain. Oh, this one's right hand drive. All you need is a good sense of direction. Or not. Here's Stig again looking lost. Terrified of maps, apparently. Okay, Inner compass points directly south. Look at the aerials on the, the top EAT of it. Has a silky smooth V6. Nope, that's the wrong button. I'm trying to remember what the um, diesel. It'll do 155 miles an hour on yeah. the road, but where we're going, we won't We don't need, need roads. roads. Really? Up, it's a trip to the top of Glen Rannoch by any means necessary and against the clock naturally. But don't worry, it has knobbly tires and a roof rack for carrying extra knobbly tires. <laughs> Wow, dude. 400 meters. Turn left. Um, I did another one of these little um, series, obviously, when I first started, about all, doing all the film set stuff. That was quite fun. Trying to get all, like, all of the stars. That, that was difficult. That's a four-wheel drive car on mud tires completely sideways. You'd do well in rallying with skills like that. Top draw drifting, I reckon. Who says you need an SUV to go off-road? The EAT has four-wheel drive and air suspension to smooth out lumps and bumps and everyday obstacles. Ancient burial mounds, for example. Wow, dude. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep um, driving. Look at that second. Oop, I dinged. All right, my, my phone is turned off. That is my work phone. Turn I'll have to check that in a minute. Look at what ridiculous time I have to get up in the morning. I ding twice. Turn sharp left. Put that on silent. 
in case it dings again. Uh, silent. Oh, I just splinter in my hand. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's all right. Uh, yeah, let me just try and get that out. Luke is making a lot of noise upstairs. I don't know what she's doing. No, I think I just pushed it further into my hand. Fuck it, come back to it later. In 200 meters, turn right. And gain all the influence right. or In 200 meters, turn left. Road discovery or don't, either way. Turn left. It's almost too stable this, like, you kind of want to be able to throw it sideways a little bit more often. Um, we're going to take a cheeky shortcut. Sharp left. That's some proper hang time. Actual air suspension. Well, it is a Mercedes one, uh -oh. so it's tough. And if you really want to smash stuff up, there's even a pickaxe in the back. It also has 340 horsepower, more torque than a cruise ship, and gets to 60 miles an hour in just over five seconds. That could have been a bit smoother, I will be honest. Come on, car! Faster, please. So, I've been up here at some point, but I don't know when or why. Um, because there are missed part of the road in some places. I don't know what happened. Oh, that was very generous on this time limit. Way over there, to the very top of Arthur's seat. Oh, okay. First, what goes up must come down. Shortcut! That'd be why it's quite generous, because that's, like, only the first step. Car, avoid the tree. Avoid the rocks. Uh -oh. Perish dig! Turn around when it is safe Look to it. do so. Yeah, I may have slightly broken it, so it doesn't want to go very quickly in a straight line anymore. I may have to slightly restart, because the end run is absolutely knackered. Because I don't have a minute to do... Yeah. Okay, so, um, let's try that one again. Without throwing ourselves down a mountain, preferably, this time. That would be fun. I've got to go to Lego Island and play in a minute. The EAT has a silky smooth V6 diesel. It'll do 155 miles an hour on the road, but where we're going, we won't need roads. No to self. No throwing oneself off of a mountain. By any means necessary, and against the clock, naturally. Naturally, worry, it has knobbly tires and a roof rack for carrying extra knobbly tires. <laughs> In 400 meters, turn left. Ba, 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 ba. Turn left. Yay. Quite fun taking this thing sideways. Who says you need an SUV to go off road? The EAT has four wheel drive and Thank you for telling me. lumps and bumps Ooh. and everyday obstacles. Ancient burial mounds, for example. Don't know what you're on about, dude. That 
That's a four-wheel drive car on mud tires completely sideways. Yes. You'd do well in rallying with skills like that. Top draw drifting, I reckon. You're trying too hard, dude. You're trying far too hard. In 400 meters, turn sharp left. I think I'm doing a lot better than I was last time. Turn sharp left. That's a wall. Hi, Cookie! In 200 meters, yeah, we're good. Turn right. Um, I did have to restart this mission, Cookie, considering I accidentally threw myself down a mountain and got 100% damage. That went well. Turn left. Um, I do have sim damage on, yes. Just... I don't know. It, it, it feels better. Plus, you get, like, extra credits. Not that it really means that much. Turn sharp left. Sorry, coming through. It also has 340 horsepower, more torque than a cruise ship, and gets to 60 miles an hour in just over five seconds. We're good. Too many beans! Nearly knackered it. We're good. I think we're a little bit behind where I was last time around. Um, but, we should be fine. Like I said, as long as we don't throw ourselves off the cliff again. I don't know it, how well they could like really measure. Now it's time to head way over there to the very top of Arthur's seat. But first, what goes up must come down. Yeah. But, again, from there, it's hard to exactly figure out. Like, they can check resistance and stuff, but... In 400 meters, turn left. I don't think it's something they need to work out, really. They just... How quickly can the turbines spin more than anything else? And the propeller turn after left. the turbine. Yeah. Too many beans. Missed an odd patch of road there somehow. We need the wall. Probably not stop. Probably stop doing that. Turn left. Come on, car. Okay, so three stars is five ten, so that's taking a direct route every time. Without destroying the car. I have a feeling I'm going to need to redo this one at some point. Because six clicks in ten seconds. It's full of home comforts, the EAT. Charges for almost anything you can charge. Cozy ambient lighting. Even a portable espresso machine. Everything in the wow. intrepid Wow, just what you need. need. Espresso machine. Yeah, somehow I don't think I'm going to get two stars. Either. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Straight lined, sort of. In four hundred meters, turn right. Turn right. Whoa, crap on a cracker. Ye fecker. EAT 
has a silky smooth V6 diesel. It'll do 155 miles an hour on the road, but where we're going, we won't need roads. First up, it's a trip to the top of Glen uh. Rana, by any means necessary, and against the clock, naturally. But don't worry, it has knobbly tires, and a roof rack for carrying extra knobbly tires. So I got screwed over by a tram. Turn left. That was fun. Okay, let's try. Turn left. Recalculating route. Cheeky shortcut. Well, it is a Mercedes wagon, so it's tough. And if you really want to smash stuff up, there's even a pickaxe in the back. Yeah, no, I found a tree because Mika distracted me looking at the bunnies. Oh wait, I can do it just a miss a minute ago. Do 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 The EAT has four wheel drive and air suspension to smooth out lumps and bumps and everyday obstacles. Ancient burial mounds, for example. I don't know where I am compared to the time of what I normally am. You do well in rallying with skills like that. Oh, I don't know, mate. You, have you seen me try and do rallying? That always ended in tears. Or a mini smashed into a pile of logs. In Repeatedly. Meters, turn sharp left. Oh, crap on a cracker. I'm taking a shortcut. In 200 meters, turn right. All of the trees! All of these shortcuts. Turn right. In 100 meters, turn left. That's some proper hang time. Actual air suspension. Jesus, dude. Please. 200 meters, turn left. Okay, so the car doesn't seem quite as happy as it was the first time around. a cruise ship and gets to 60 miles an hour in just over five seconds. Yeah, and most of the stuff the cars do in this game, Cookie, the, they wouldn't actually survive. They, they would die very quickly and very wholly. car up the hill I think I'm a little bit ahead of the groove at where I normally am like the engine and car is a little bit worse for where compared to where it normally now it's is time to head way over there to the very top of Arthur's seat but first what goes up must come shortcut please gentle shortcut this time that's not a gentle shortcut When it is safe to do so. In 400 meters, turn right. Well, if it helps, the car is a lot healthier than it was last time I tried to do that. Should probably have turned some damage off. In 400 meters, turn left. I'm gonna point and head directly for it. Like, yes, I'm gonna smash some stuff, and yes, it's I'm gonna home comforts, the EAT. slightly Charges damage the car in places. But you can charge cozy ambient lighting, even a portable espresso that machine. That was dangerous. There's Everything lots of trees the through there. Explorer could ever need. Okay, so I'm still six clicks away, and I have a minute. Uh, no, I didn't. I, I've seen there were some interesting accidents, but I didn't get a chance to. Trees! Oh, you smag it. Whoa, drifty. Oh, cool. Just blitz a rugby field, then. Why not? 
Left, 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 left tree. Miss the tree. That's a solid wall. Mother trucker. Turn around when it is safe to do so. In 400 meters, turn right. That's narrow. I feel like I have stuffed this up slightly. That's a train track. Oh, I'm here again, where I got trammed. All right, all this adventure kits had a tiny effect on the fuel efficiency. Good job the roof rack holds two cans of diesel, and there's another one in the back. Just don't confuse them with your drinking water. Okay, I highly doubt I'm going to hit two stars. Even like, I might even struggle to hit one star at this bloody rate. Unless I'm missing something, this is, seems very tricky to. Uh, no plan. Seems very tricky to actually get. But we'll finish it and move on. At the roundabout, car, eh? take the first exit. Oops. Onto the final stretch now. Just the small matter of getting up Arthur's seat. The clock's ticking, so better step on it, Stiggy. In 200 meters. It's fun to have a minute to go 400 meters. Take a direct route, I believe. Yeah, I, I might adjust that in a minute. The top of Arthur's seat. No idea who Arthur is, by the way, or why his seat's so big. Nice view, though. Shame there's no time to stick around. I did it. Not very well, but I did it. I did it, darling. Come on. Um, because it's the top gear section. And that is the simple answer to that one. Uh, no, don't do that thing. We'll keep cosmetic. And let's keep it going. Let's go! No idea what's coming next. Is the stream really janky or is it just me? The stream's gone away. Stream went away? Now I said we'd be driving some British classics. Ah. And you don't get Ooh, more mini. British than a car built in Birmingham designed by Yes, yes I am driving the Iron Knight cookie. Anyway, here it is. An original Mini Cooper S. An icon of 60s engineering. It was designed for snow? cities. But this is the wide body. Snow one, tires. So we're going to need a bit more room. And I know just the nom, place. Nom, nom. Ready, stick? The mini is cleverly packaged. Bloody hell. Capable of carrying four people and their luggage. And Somehow. Presumably. Again, it's right-hand driver as well, so that's the start. Like I said, some of them are su like, surprisingly left-hand drive, despite this being set in Scotland. This thing is twitchy as smeg. Oh yeah, this is a rapid, rapid little mini. This. Uh oh, trees, Mister. Whoa! Turn around when it is safe to do so. I don't actually know where the destination is. Oh, it's over there. I could go cross country. And I feel like this road would be quicker. 
So let's have a quick mooch. Uh, no, I did not. And that seems like a stupid idea. The mini is I can't actually add waypoints. Okay, take the second right, got it. Capable of carrying four people and their luggage. Hand luggage, presumably. This thing's a little bloody rocket shit. Sorry, Sanav, I'm ignoring you. Turn around when it is safe to do so. There we go, that's much better. It's probably not meant to be as quick, but this mini does like 170 mile an hour, so we're fine. Whoa! Bye! I think I sent something into space. This thing is incredibly twitchy and incredibly snappy at the same time, somehow. Sorry, Mercury class. The Cooper S was developed by a bloke called John Cooper, who also built F1 cars, so it had real racing pedigree. Um, that does not like making that corner. Uh -oh. Going for a spin. And it wasn't just Monte Carlo either. The British Saloon So it's the Thousand Lakes Rally, not even the Australian like a uh, traditional DeLorean as it were. It's a modern spec DeLorean. Whoa treed. Wait, that was meant, meant to take nine minutes. We've got everything we need here. An airfield, the original rapid runabout, and the stig. I'm looking forward to this. This is going to get interesting. Look at that. Laying down some rubber there. Not that it has much to lay. After all, tiny wheels mean tiny tyres. That's not how you beat the skills target. I can literally just hold throttle and it does this. Lovely work there. Short wheelbase, front wheel drive. It's really not an easy car to slide this. Yes, it is. Just do this. This little mini punches well above its weight. It's literally unstoppable. Forget rallying. This thing was made for demolition derbies. Now that's just showing off. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. What is it with minis and shipping containers? They sold nearly five and a half million minis. But only this one could fly, apparently. Whee! Uh oh. Landed it. Yeah, I suppose, like, it, it might be a good thing, but it also might not.
all the points in the world. La 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 Someone tell us dig we're done now. It's I think I did it. A spot of sightseeing. Wait, did it not bang that last score score of points? That's annoying. Oh, if it didn't bank that last score of points, that's cheating me. Cheating me, I tell you. Oh, I got a Maserati. They're quite nice. <laughs> wow. That is ridiculous. The way the influence points work is you can collect them and then use them on each individual car. So if you have one car that you're specifically looking for, you can go and do it all, put it all into there. Edinburgh, where it's time for a spot of turbocharged tourism with this, the mighty Porsche GT2 RS. All we need now is our tour guide. McStig, <laughs> the world's worst Scotsman. McStig. Tartan, absolutely petrified of bagpipes, or so I've heard. Wow. McStig. Right. Pause. I need to quickly pour myself a beverage. Yeah, this is uh, going to be interesting. Just what Cookie said. I have a feeling it's going to be very um, sideways and backwards and, get back here before they all and upside down in a tree. In 400 meters, turn left. Turn left. Wrong street! Okay, stuff that right up to start with. Let's try that one again. Uh, I can't believe I missed a fucking trick. I went down the wrong road. Right. Let's see if we can visit every bell tower in Edinburgh and get back here before they all stop ringing. Yeah. 400 meters. Turn left. Ooh, inch perfect there. It's wider than a regular. Fucking BM. Piss off. About 20 times more terrifying. Basically, the perfect device for Ow. in and out of city traffic. What a car this is. Thing does not like driving in a straight line. All wrapped up in carbon fiber with wings, stripes, holes, and away, Fiesta. Where's the next one? At the roundabout, take the first exit. Nippy little thing, isn't it? Zero to sixty takes two point seven seconds. Just the job for a bit of speed. I don't know if you can hear my controller, but it's going nuts. <laughs> Every time the rear wheels start spinning, it goes absolutely bananas. In Where am I going? Meters, turn right. It might be street legal, but it's only a pair of fireproof underpants away from being a full-blown racing Whoa. car. In 200 meters... Turn right. I don't know what you're on about, Cookie. It's probably better than hearing me slam the steering wheel backwards and forwards. Excellent. No, that's Elegant not right. That's what 700 horsepower and rear-wheel drive will do for you if you have the guts for it. And an effective laundry detergent. You do two donuts in the street for no apparent reason. How many are there? Jesus. 
It's a real masterpiece of engineering, this GT2 RS. The wheels are made from magnesium, Ow. the exhaust is titanium. It's exotic, savage, and utterly bonkers. I love it! 200 meters. We may have slightly Turn found left. a wall. Turn left. Nope. That ended surprisingly well. Turn sharp right. Too many beans. Bloody BM, get in my way. Yeah, it could have gone smoother, but you know, it's, it's fine. Two hundred and eleven miles an hour. Any faster, and it would need special tires. But with the stick behind the wheel, who knows? Yeah, like it's, it's just sat on the table at the moment. I do intend to get like a bracket for it. It's just finding one at the right. Uh, sorry, at uh, the right price and actually getting it, working out where the best place to put it is. Um, yeah, I'll work it out. I'll get everything eventually, but you know. In two hundred meters, turn right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it'll pick everything up up there though. I could give it a go, and the only, but the only problem with that is obviously it's up there and everything wobbles a little bit more up there. At the roundabout, take the first exit. Into the final stretch now. Note to stick. Remember to park properly at the end, and watch out for traffic wardens. I got 1.2 clicks to do in about five seconds. Oops. May have not been very good today on this one but you know 150 down this kind of street hmm that doesn't seem Good great work. I should probably start Start those carbon ceramic brakes now they can stop a locomotive dead in its tracks oh okay so where did the like three to ones wow I'll just leave it at where it is To be fair, probably get into some actual races. Because this is like Forza Horizon about the races. I haven't done a single race yet. Everything I have done has been like. Yeah, well, it's just kind of your character in a costume more than anything else. I think what I'm going to quickly do. I don't know how many more of those I've got. I'm pretty check. Um, oh, wow, last one. And I got a feeling I'm driving the Iron Knight, so we might as well do that one. I told you we'd finish with a fan's favourite, and here it is. No, not the lorry. The thing on the what back is under that? The tarp. You'll love it. But first, we need to move it into position. Thankfully, we have our very own haulage expert, a trucker's trucker. No load too large. Yes, it's big rigs. The wheels are m the front wheels moving. Right now, take it easy, Stig. That's some expensive cargo you have back there. Costs as much as a house. Weighs about the same too. I can tell this truck doesn't. Re I know it's a truck, but. Oh, it feels. Ooh. Hallmarks. I have three kilometers to do in four minutes. <laughs> Worked out what it is yet? Okay, here are some cryptic clues. It's all wheel drive, but not four wheel drive. It's a wagon, but you definitely don't need a horse to pull it. Hmm. Oh, is it the, um,. I've seen it. It's the um. In two hundred meters, <laughs> turn left. Six by six. Turn left. This thing does not turn very well. That's a tree. No, it's um. Oh, what is it? It's um. Look, just, Cookie. Look at. I would. Wait, I've got my mouse. Like. You can see between the two rear straps. Look at you can see the wheel arches. It's a six by six of some sort. 
can't remember which one though. Yeah. I know um, one of the videos, Alex from Fair Race, I still didn't make the corner. Uh, one of the video videos Alex from Fair Race did, he did the um, Eliminator and he got it at one point. I can't remember, I think it's, um, I think it's something like a Raptor. Six by six, maybe. Why are we listening to classical music while we do this? What's my radio button? Uh, right. Nope. Why did I push? That's photo mode. I may have turned the radio off. I don't know. That's five tons of flatbed carrying four tons on its back. Don't you just hate getting stuck behind a slow, lumbering old... Wait a minute. It's actually accelerating. Up a hill. I guess that's what 900 foot-pounds of torque does for you. That plus trucker stig. I... Like I said, I can't quite remember what it is. I think it's... It might be... Actually, saying that, looking at the front end, it is... Uh, it does look like a Merc front end on it. But, like I said, I'm sure we will find out in a quick minute when we finally Almost get to there. where we're going. It up and we'll whip those covers off. Good job, Big Rig Stig. Wow. It suits you, you know. Big Although Rig Stig. come to think of it, maybe pick up some more of your style, especially the one we have in store. I give you the Mercedes there we go. G63 AMG 6x6. It's the ultimate off-roader, a four-ton, six-wheel sports utility truck. Basically, a G-Wagon with the back half of a pickup thrown in for free. Wow. Up front is a 5.5-litre twin-turbo V8. Usually, it's limited to 100 miles an hour, but not this one. I can tell because they're already at 100, basically. Keep going. With all of the wheels, I've got no idea. The six by six turns mountains into motorways. Uh oh, is there anything it can't conquer? Probably. Oh, someone call air traffic control. I'm pretty sure you need a special license to fly one of these. I'm very angry. Phone putty downy. 400 meters. Turn left. Shortcut for a puddle. That was not a very good shortcut. Avoid the trees. It makes 536 horsepower and more than 760 newton meters of torque. With that speed limiter removed and with the stick behind the wheel, it'll do 125 miles an hour. With a bit of a run-up. <laughs> well, it's almost there at the moment as it is. Tough the six by six. After all, it was originally made for the Australian Army. It's basically a tank with heated seats. <laughs> yes, because that's exactly what this thing left. needs: heated bloody seats. Boy. Turn left. I may have slightly missed the turn left, but I can still hit the destination. Fine. It can wade through a meter of water. This thing. Most cars need full scuba kit at that depth. Ridiculous. Um, I. I don't know how it's set up. I I didn't really look at it. Turn around when it is oh, shut up, sat nav. Going cross country. Turn left. Top job there, Stig. Take some more off. No idea what Stig does with a deal. <laughs> Experimental dance, goat yoga, bog snorkeling. Anyway, I've been Chris Harris, still am, and this has been the Top Gear Horizon Special. Thanks for coming.
for now. Let's go see what this Fort Sathon live thing's all about. Anyway, oh my phone went off again. No. Okay, if I get a little bit, yeah, it would, yeah, I don't know, it depends, like, what kind of deals I can strike, because obviously from there it'll be, ooh, that's a bit of fun, obviously, um, Grand Tour, but obviously the Grand Tour have got their own game, and a few other things here and there. View the beauty spot. The Derwent Reservoir. There's actually a beautiful hiking trail that winds up through the forest and along the shoreline. Can't see Long time. walk though, so it's much faster if you do it in a jag. <laughs> or a iron knight at this case, in this um, scenario. So where? Uh oh. Mistakes were made! Mistakes were made! God damn it! Don't land on your roof again! Thank you. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is work out where my house is. <clears throat> Don't know why it's still playing classical music. There we go. Um, so let's find something slightly more suitable to pelt around in for a while. Ooh. Nah, something more. If only that was a bit quicker. That'd be good fun. Um, let's, let, let's go for the 2011 Scooby. I exploded my car. Let's go! I haven't done anything to the Scooby yet. Okay, step one. No. 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 Okay, I can't actually hit the... What is my radio button? Radio, okay, keyboard, radio, equals, got it. Had enough of classical music. Okay, so let's go and have a mooch. Um, I think the, obviously the purple ones are ones I still have to hit. Um, let's make our way up. No, don't fast travel. Mm. 
It is a long way. Yeah, we'll have a bit of fun with it. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Turn right. Uh, 11 kilometers shouldn't take us too long. Still keep driving on the right because most of these games are set in America. Okay, we have chasey buns. Why is it? Why is it chasing? What are you two doing? Uh, that's point. I have skill points again. I don't know if I'm going to put them in the Scooby. Um, like yes, I can upgrade it, but. I may want to drop it into another car instead. We shall see. Ooh, skill point. In 400 meters, turn right. Turn right. Never get this corner properly. Never, never, never. I was coming far too fucking hot. In 200 meters, turn left. Turn left. Last one. Look. Sorry. My bad. Yes, uh, uh, Oh, look, we're here again. Uh, well, we should be doing 50. I'm touching 140. So that's fun. Crest? Meters, no crest. Turn left. Turn left. Sign. Take the sign now. And the other way. The van. Avoid the van. Around the outside of the beamer. Another beamer. So yeah, it's going better than it was when I was driving the mark along here, isn't it? Another beamer. How many beamers are there? Apart from many. Many, many beamers. In 400 meters, turn right. All the, the boards, I'm just like clear driving past all of them. Turn right. Like nowhere near where they are. Um, I did. I looked into it. I haven't had a chance to look and see if it's worth getting yet. Oops. Sorry. Um, I may get it at some point, Cookie. Um. Turn left. But I'm not sure yet. I did look at it. I remember. I do remember. It. It's what I thought it was, um, and I did think it was fun. But it's just whether it's worth it when it comes to it. I haven't forgotten it. Don't worry. There is a board here. Let's just nail this one. But, to be fair, Cookie, that's how it would be. Right. Like, meters, shit's just started to go wrong. You don't know how to deal with what's coming at you. So, naturally, you've got to kind of look at it and go, how do we deal with this shit? And rather than, I am a superpowered god who can kill everything. Oh, 
what an odd way to take me to where I'm going. Yeah, I did so see that. I was just going to try and not um, point it out too hard. I didn't go through there, though. Went through that one. And that one. You have arrived at your destination. Let's just let that take away. And there we go. Let's travel to Lego Valley. Hey, it's Jay. Everything's ready. We're about to head to Lego Valley. Okay. Kira even sent us some Lego Speed Champion sets for the drive. Woo. Now, I know half the fun is building them, and I was gonna wait for you, but um You got you did them anyway. I love the little mini. I don't have the mini, I have the other two. That's a nice little um, thing. Ultimate drifting. Okay, game, you can load anytime soon. Anytime. Bum, 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 bum. Horizon Pro what I there. see. Okay. I'll let you go for it then. I see a world made of bricks. Cool. No, no, listen. And there'd be dinosaurs and, and pirate ships and ghosts, I guess? Yeah, ghosts. We'll build a city and cars just as fast as the real thing. That doesn't sound safe. Lego Valley. You in? Why would I not be in? Mm. I haven't seen anything about that one yet, Cookie. Why is there a UFO? I mean, like, why isn't there a UFO? Well, why is that? Oh, where's the heart? Uh, too many beans. Oh, the UFO crash. Marvelous. Uh, Horizon is unable to confirm or deny the presence of unidentified flying Lego objects. <laughs> that information is classified. Move out of my way! Oh, watch out for the dinosaur bones! Or drive straight through them, mate. It's fine. They don't do anything if you hit them. Horizon to air traffic control requesting permission to land. Jeez. That's cool. Sorry, aircraft. Why is there a ramp at the end of the runway? Treed! Damn it! Stunt park, yay! <laughs> Cone. Oh yeah, all the little minis. These things are hilarious. The Lego Speed Champions Mini. Not so many anymore. And away! Uh oh. Fenced. Puddles. Yahar, me Lego hearties. Wow, dude. Trying too hard. And whoop. 
Oh, there's another big... Oh, wow. Whee! Out of the way, animals! Nearly squished a pig. Very nearly squished a pig. Didn't. Nearly did. Are you really going to make me go Welcome that way? Yes. Population, a whole lot of bricks and minifigures. And you! May have slightly overshot that one a little bit. But we can get back past the little white mini. Like so. Do, do, do. Hey, look. Ghosties! Don't worry, they're just Lego ghosts. Nothing to be afraid of. You say that, why do you sound so scared, mate? Dinosaur. Coming up. Wait till you get a load of this. Made it. Woo! <laughs> Coaster set, Ferris wheel. What do you think of the new site? Pretty sweet, huh? We put you up with a new house. Well, kind of. But we saved you the best spot in the festival. Really? Yeah, I suppose it is quite cool. What happens next? Well, I know if this was Dan playing, he'd spend the rest of the stream building this house. Hey, Dave. Here it is. Horizon Lego Valley. Now, Lego needs a speed champion. And the festival needs master builders. And you, you need a place to live. Yes, obviously. This is the base plate where you'll be building your very own master builder's house. Cool. Get in car. Season changing. First oh, okay. First, you need bricks. Lots of bricks. You can get them by completing brick challenges. Oh, okay. Like a big box of Lego to play with. The question is, which one will it be first? Wow, there are quite a few first of them, aren't there? Challenge set. Let's do this. Okay, let's let let's try this one. Okay, bye, cookie. Modified your car dashboard to display objectives for the challenge you're tracking. I'll be in touch when you've completed it. Somehow I don't think there's little mini. Hey Dave. I should have mentioned things are a little different this time round. There's a whole valley full of events and stunts already set up for you to discover. You just gotta go find them. Um... You've arrived at your destination. Uh, what did I do? Not the challenge you were going for. Never mind, it still counts. Nice work. Oh, I got two of them. Yay. Where am I at the moment? I don't actually know. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Okay, so I can't get quicker. That's uh, a solid trick. Uh, I'm stuck. Think I'm stuck. Oh, the, the bits of Lego actually fall off your car. That's quite cute. Dun ba 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 ba. Three! God damn it. Can I bring a quicker car? That would be quite useful. Forza Fun daily challenge complete. 
See you back tomorrow? Of course I will. What's the what was the daily challenge that I did? Cool. Let's go find the football area. So here's my house. The there's the football area. I guess. I probably there's one for finding all the roads and avoiding all the trees. I did that. And football! Wait. There it is. Let's go to it. What are these ones? Oh, okay. Um. Do this. Sorry. Gonna keep crashing. Meters. Turn right. Oh, can't get out where I thought I could. Wait, too smashy. You have arrived at your destination. Hey, Dave. Let's take a look at Horizon Blueprint. This is something I let our old festival boss play around with in Australia, but they're not here. So I need to see if we have any fresh blueprinting talent. No, I'm here to do the rally. So I have, I think I'll take the mini. It's better than the little Renault. And they're actually in real cars. Cool. Thought they might be. Let's go! Okay, they may be slightly quicker than me. But I'm sure we will take it through to a win in the end. But hey, look! It's... What? Uh, how far are we in? An hour and a half in and we're doing our first race. That I stuffed up almost at the first corner. I think this thing would be better without the root tires on the roof. And stop and go. <laughs> that's one way to do it, I suppose. There are better ways, but that's one of them. Obviously their checkpoint system works, but you can quite easily cut the corner a bit too much and completely miss the checkpoint. Which would obviously ruin your day quite profusely. There we go. Run away, there's a fiesta coming. Where's our focus? Can't tell, they look very similar. In the modern specs, especially with all the body kit. Oh, hi! Pretty sure that's a fiesta. Run away! Run away from all of the vehiculars.
Ultimate clean racing. Are you sure, game? Way. Hey. That was close. Checkpoint. And to finish. Sideways, of course. Did it there. Yay. It's fine, I've got just shy of two million. Ooh, oh, a moat, really? Yay. Ah, okay, so their win. Um, so I need another 100 Lego bricks before I can start building my... I am going to spend a lot of time in here. Ah, so most of these are just complete and win different events. Okay, so if I quickly... Try to get all like the real cars driving around rather than the Lego ones. I know there's only like three Lego cars. You know, it's still. Uh, that was a speed ramp. Sorry. Little joint project between myself and the Lego team. Does exactly what you think it will do. What? You mean smeg everyone off into space? Yeah. Destination. That's the wrong button. There's one about smashing all the cones. It's trying to work out where the best place for it is. Check it out. I swear, this is the first time Kira didn't have to chase me to help with the festival setup. Wonder why. It's a bit freaky seeing all the Lego people the same size as the people. So, my cars. Let's see, what do we want to take and um, make a little bit crazy? Did you already do that? No, I did not. Thought I did. That one I turned into a bit of a crazy machine. Um, or should we buy a new one? Got the money. Let's have a look. Uh, what's in it? Yeah, let's, um... Have a quick look and see what we... Ah, uh, yeah. Warhog? No. Um, let's cover the last ones. Austin Healy, the Union, Bentleys, Beamers. What current should we get that we can have a bit of fun playing around with? That we can get an upgrade to be a bit crazy, but not too crazy. Transit for Bronco. Oh, that's DLC. Um quite a few cars. Oh, free. I might look into some of these afterwards. Formula Drift. Ah, uh, that might be why. Um, Hillman Imp. Jesus. 
Civic. That might be quite fun. Jag. Um. <laughs> Lotus of Vora, Lotus Exige, Mazdas, McLarens, get the Unimog, that could be quite fun. fancy don't know what I fancy playing with Talbot TVRs Vauxhalls Volkswagens all of the Vol I own all the Volvos of course I do Let's go for something a bit crazy that we can soup up to a degree. Something small. Ooh, actually. Um, let's go for Lancia. Paint it purple. Buy it for ninety five grand. Let's play with it, upgrade it slightly. <clears throat> go into the cutscene again. Yes, yes, I am. Up, 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 up. <laughs> No, not that one. Conversions. Let's see what have we got. So we've got the stop engine, which is two liter something. Or we've got ourselves. So we got two liter with three point two liter. Or the one six turbo rack. Supposedly, that thing. Hmm. I like the bigger. Yes, let's put. There we go. We are going to stick an all wheel drive drivetrain on it. And naturally, a bigger turbo. I did do it, didn't I? Yeah. Um, aero. I don't like putting the front wings on them. I like that. Kind of like it without. Kind of like it with. Is that literally just mud flaps? Ha! 
<sighs> Tires. We are in the winter, so it would probably be better to put the snow tires on for now. Rather than... Um, yeah, let's go for Horizon Race tires. A little bit more grip. A lot. Ooh, wait. A lot more grip. Kind of like the wheels. As they are on size. So we'll leave that like that. Um, better clutch. This thing is going to be a bloody rocket ship. La 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 la. Make everything a bit lighter. Brakes diff in it. Um, got that. Brakes. The important bit. Let's upgrade the handling to match the uh, slight increase in pack. Um, it probably will be better to have rally than race. Yeah, let's stick with Rally. Probably safer. Stick all the nice things on it. Roll cage. Do we really want a roll cage? Probably should have a roll cage. Yeah, keep the roll cage. And naturally, strip all the weight out of it. Now for the fun bit. How many horses can we put in this thing? Bearing in mind this was a mid B class car when we started. We paid just shy of a hundred grand for the car and we're about to sit sink about the same in it again. You keep shopping, have fun. I'll tote up the price for you here. Just let me know when you're done. Oh, fuck me. Sorry, tell a light. It was a C class. High C. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. This thing is, um. Gonna be fun. Ooh. Let's get some. I will play with this a lot, so let's um, sink some points into it. Three points. Wow, that will be useful. Uh. Ooh. Oh, that's temporarily one. Well, this thing's going to be mentally fast. So let's give it a quick go and then we will call it a day. I don't know what speed we need to. Oh, too quick! Got to stay within the zone so we can track you. Sorry. I probably should have. Stoke the ugly Forza front bumper on it. That way it might have actually gripped and went around the corner properly. You have 
have arrived at your destination. New PB. I don't know what the like score is though. Ouch. Did I just say all I need to do is hit 13 more mile an hour? Let's try going the other way. Nope, fucked it again. You have arrived at your destination. New PB. Still two stars. I'm in the top 100%. Okay. I see how it is, game. Bloody thing. But anyway, let's leave that be for now. We might have to come back with something different. Twitchy. You have arrived at your destination. Yay. So what did I have to get? What did I have to... What I was trying to say is, what did I have to do to get the... Trailblazers. Oh, okay. I don't care how you get there, just get there fast. Three. Nope, 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 Come on, car. Stay pointing in the right direction, for God's sake. How much quicker did I need to be? That's what I want to know. Sometimes you're not great at telling you what you're missing. Ow. Which would be nice. But we'll quickly go and... What is that? Airport drag. Not sure how well this thing will do. Okay, so let's go and throw ourselves off the cliff and then we'll call it a day there. Let's see, what's the speed we hit here? That was lucky. 184 meters. New PB. Okay, what did I have to do? Does it even say? 213. I was quite far off, actually. Wow. I don't... what? Oh, 25 seconds under. I think. I don't... I don't know. 
Oh, the drift one as well. What was the drift one? Oh, it was quite far off. Anyway, while we think about doing some donuts on an airstrip, and also think about crashing into something that doesn't seem like it should be crashed into. Ooh. That's quite nice. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, donuts on a helipad, as it turns out. And is it for jumps? I don't know what that was. Anyway, donuts on an airstrip. With that, we will leave it there. Thank you very much for coming out to watch us today. If I hold the throttle, it does eventually pull it out. Nope, now I'm just doing giant circles. It does eventually pull out of the straight into a straight line. Anyway, with that, stop, car, stop, thank you. We will look at the bunnies quickly. And I will exit the game before I get even more distracted. With that, we will call it a day there. Thank you very much for coming out to see us, ladies and gentlemen. We look forward to seeing you next time on Wednesday. Uh, I'm not sure if Annalie is streaming this week. Um, check out any information on her Twitter, at Annalie13. Make sure you go and follow me and Mika as well. As well as the two YouTube channels on your screen, Deator Productions and Deator Productions VODs. We have VODs going out up until Valentine's Day. I have some more to um, set ready. I've got quite a lot uploaded. I've just got some more to set ready. And there's some stuff coming to Deator Productions in the very near future. I've got a couple of things I need to get around to editing. Um, but sure, that everything is getting there. Make sure you come back on Wednesday. For my next stream, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. Um, depending on how Mika's feeling, we may jump back in. Or I'll see if we can do some Battlefield with Pink. And then on the Thursday, um, jump back in with Mika. But we will work it out from there. Or vice versa. See you then. Do your tour. Out. <laughs>